previously on Portal 2. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. <laughs> Stalemate resolved. No, stop, no, 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 no! Wow! I'm in control of the whole facility now. <laughs> uh, actually, why do we have to leave right now? I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. Maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No, no, no. Ah. See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. No, not listening, not listening. It was your voice. You're not just a regular moron. You were designed to be a moron. You're a moron they built to make me an idiot. Could a moron us you into this pit? Ah! Could a moron do that? Uh oh. We now return with episode 6 of Portal 2. Hey, what's up, guys? Second Creeper over here back again with some more Portal 2. Oh, yeah, so when I left off, Wheatley punched the escape pod into the shaft, and now GLaDOS and I are falling down this long tunnel. I paused it here because GLaDOS has some uh, dialogue that she's going to say. I didn't want her uh, dialogue to take up my... Uh... Really? I didn't want her dialogue to take up, uh, take up my uh, commentary. So, let's go ahead and do this. Fine. Because I'm a potato. Yeah. What? Oh good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. Okay. So Thank you. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast actually. But since huh. we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. Okay. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Well. Good, that's still working. <laughs> hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. Uh, yeah, I kind of need both feet to land, GLaDOS. Just come here, let me grab you. Oh! That didn't sound good. Where am I? Whoa. Glados and a bird? Prometheus was punished by the gods for giving the gift of knowledge to man. He was cast into the bowels of the earth and picked by birds. Huh. I know how to play, Portal. Okay, I know how to play. So where do I go? Hmm, do I go this way? I think I go this way, but I'm not sure. Yep, go this way. Probably up this way. And I know how to play Portal 2. I haven't, eh. Uh, just because I haven't touched the controls in one level means I automatically don't know, I automatically don't know how to play. That's so stupid. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's the way I came. Hmm. Let's try that. I think I'm going the right way. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell when everything's, like, so blended together. Can I do that? Nope. Hmm. That doesn't reach. Who knows, I might have to go this way. I always get lost down here. I can never find my way out. It's... 
Yeah, I could do there. Where am I? What in the world? Hmm. This is odd. I don't know what's going on here. Condemned testing? Keep out, do not enter. Condemned testing area. What? What's going on? Hmm. Maybe yeah, there's something back there I could portal onto. Or not. Hmm. I know how to play. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I'm really glad they added the zooming into this game because uh, I couldn't see anything. Couldn't see anything when I had to fire at something far away in the last game. Hmm. I think it's over there. Oh yeah, I can get over there. And now where? Hmm. That I don't think that has a use really. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I always get lost. Oh, I can I can fire down there. Perfect. I think this is where I have to go. Just keep following the signs. Do not enter. Yeah, I'm gonna disregard your advice. This is probably where I have to go. Yep, this is definitely the way I have to go because the game just saved. I don't know. Don't know what's going on here. Hmm. It's just. It's just. Is this aperture? Because this doesn't look like Aperture. Hmm. I know how to play. What? Hmm. A vault door? What, am I suddenly in the world of Fallout or something? Sorry, had to make that joke. It's just... Uh, it's just... I don't... Uh, now, that I'm, uh, now that I'm on the subject of Fallout, I don't really understand the point of it. It's just like... It's just like... Why does that game exist, and why is it so popular? I don't understand the point of it. Wait a minute. Can I not? I guess I can't fire in there. Because I have to go in there myself. Okay, can't go this way. Alright. Oh yeah, that works. Oh. Right. Hmm. But it's probably like a time button challenge. Hatch reclusion override. Oh, it is a time. Man, that's that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty tense. And got it. Um. Did I do something wrong? No, I must have done something right, because uh, cause that hatch is opening. Hmm. But well, why are the sirens going off? Hmm. What's back there? I can't see anything. Hmm. It's just a wall. It's just a wall. What's the point of that door? I mean, the, I mean, the good news is... Uh, the good news is the uh, the doors appear opened. Um, oh, looks like I can go through this door. I know how to use uh, I know how to use levers. Seriously, you don't touch the controller for one level, and suddenly the game doesn't think you know how to play. All right. What the? Oh, dissolving fluid. Disgusting. I hate this stuff. What's going on? Uh, could it be? Could it be the nuclear core thing? I mean, something's uh, something's causing that stuff to fly. Hmm. Hmm. Must be something back here. Uh, what's back here? Hmm. Oh, I know how to work this game. Who is ready to make some science? 
I am. Hmm. Now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. All right. Your voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Carolyn? My name is Carolyn. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorary to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. Pretty as a postcard. Pretty as a postcard. I've never heard that phrase before. But Carolyn? The Oracle turn says something about that. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Huh. Surprised that still works. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't right, personally wait. oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. <laughs> Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Repulsion gel? Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. What? Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good okay. news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a <laughs> rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Uh, what kind of test is that? So this is the face behind the voice. Cave Johnson. He's the CEO of After Science. Well, he was, I think. Local entrepreneur by salt mine. Industry to Upper Michigan. Well, I have an idea of where I am now. Upper Michigan, that's where Aperture Science is. Okay. Hmm. I'm assuming I'm going the right way, so. Elevator control. Hmm. The Wait a minute. Oh, there was a... There was a emancipation girl there? Wait a minute, how did Emancipation Girls exist this far back? Hmm. Wait a minute, maybe the... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think this is like a past... I think this is like the past version of Aperture Science. I know how to play the game, Portal. Okay? Hmm. Jeez. Again, you don't touch the controls for one level and suddenly the game doesn't think you know how to play. It's like, I played the game before. I know how to play. Idiot. Okay, that was right. Mm. What's this? Pump station alpha. Know your allergens. Pollen, animal, dan animal dander, plastics, and antimatter? Antimatter? What? That doesn't make any sense. What does this do? Gel pressure control. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I think I did something right. Hmm. Let's see. What the? Where do I go? Uh, across the pump problem. Yeah, across the They two. say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. <gasps> not here, not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Okay. I guess they did have uh, material emancipation girls in the past. Alright. What do we got here? All the lights. Whoa. Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not huh. part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> Ew. All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, oh. But informative. Or so I'm told. What? It's uh, Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic... Uh, dietetic... Wait, diet... Dietetic pudding substitute? It's true. The gel was, is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation. The cost of subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a digester's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Oh, I wonder why. Hmm. Oh, it's bouncy! 
I like it. Okay, so let's go up here. What? Okay. Up. Oh. Yeah, that's really bouncy. Wow. Never seen an old school cube like that. I know how to play the game! Would you just stop? I know how to play the game, Portal. Valve, fix your game. Yeah, the seriously. The has just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. He's got a point. Uh, oh, great. Where do I go? Oh, probably up there. Wait a minute. There's no wall there. Yeah, that's not a wall. And that's... That's the dissolving fluid. I can't go down there. Oh, wait. I go this way. What? No? That was where I just came from. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Probably over there? Okay, well, I know my destination, just I don't know the travel. I don't know the travel port of, uh, part of it. How do I get there? That's the question. Maybe I get a... Duh! This is so confusing! Okay, Johnson, why'd you have to make this so... Why'd you have to make this so difficult to get around? There we go. Found it. Wait a minute, this wasn't Cave Johnson's idea. This was, uh... This is just... This is just, like, years of... Hmm. What? Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that, too. Uh... Hey! Oh, come on, really? You didn't warn me that was there. Great, now I gotta... Now I gotta... Drop through here. Okay. I know what to do! Jeez, this game is acting like I'm stupid. Okay. Okay. It's like... That triggers stats, but what does it do? Hmm. Huh? What? I don't know what's going on. I could put a portal on that, it's just... What? Oh, I see. Whoop. Now I can get through here, because I can bounce. cube over there, but I'm assuming... I'm assuming these let me wall jump. Oh, that is amazing. I can wall jump. <laughs> Would you stop? I know how to play, Valve. Uh, this is getting irritating. This... Okay. Hmm. I see. Okay. Oh, now I can bounce through here. This stuff is surprisingly springy. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Yeah, uh, you probably should have told us that before we started the test. All right, what do we got here? All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out what? the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's what? not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. Huh. Yeah, that... What? Uh, Cave Johnson, you're... Uh, 
cave, you're kind of uh, crazy. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I uh, Once again, I always get lost in here. That's not a wall. Oh, there it is. Up here. Whoa, that was close. Okay. And... Okay, I can fire it over there. Nope. Hmm. That's not a wall. I guess that is, though. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Hmm. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Uh, yeah, that's kind of against uh, that's kind of against the law, Cave Johnson. Okay, so that just fires a big blob, a bunch of big blobs of repulsion gel, and I fired the wrong portal. Whoop! I want to be careful. And he said, "Don't get covered in it." Hmm. What did it do? Oh, whoops, wrong portal. Whoops. And I fired in the wrong place. Crap. There we go. And... Got it, it's now springy. Do I go up here? I'm assuming I go up here. Let's try this. Up. Up. Boom. Okay, well, now I need to fling across. But how do I do that? Oh, wait, that needs to be springy. Here's an idea. Hmm. All right. I guess that works. Let's fall through. And up up. Nice! Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. What? There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't uh. stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. That doesn't make any sense. How is that scientifically possible? Okay. Oh, we got more dripping goo. Hmm. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely what? you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay. I'm assuming this is water. What do I, what do I do? Because this water. Uh, oh uh, yeah, this is definitely water. So I don't know what to do here. Do I drip this? Uh, do I like make this fall through here? I'm assuming I have to gel up this area. Ah. Uh. Let's just gel up this area. I don't know what it's gonna do, but um... okay, let's go. Oh, I can't get through. Unfortunately, this water is gonna wash it off. I think. Let's try that. Yep, just washes right off. Huh. Oh, I see. I need to get to the button. Let's put the portal back there. I get it. Okay. I can hold B to prevent bouncing. Oh. Okay, I made it. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. Okay. All right, this next what? test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, what of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab always tell me that I'm going to wipe out time. Entirely. Huh. Forward and backward. 
So do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Okay. Trace amounts of time travel. How's that even possible? Also, I might want to might want to drip some propulsion or er, repulsion gel on the wall. I mean, just in case it actually does something. Whoops. Okay. Here. Whoop. And it did something. Nice. Hmm. Okay, now where do I go? Uh. Oh, I can probably reach this area right here. Yes, I can. What did that do? I don't know what that did. Hmm. Oh, that's just like a straight drop. Okay. Okay, let's try that. That works. Hmm. Oh, here's an idea. Up, 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 up. Oh yeah. That works. That worked really well. I guess maybe what happened? Where am I going? Oh wait, up here. Okay. Up. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. Okay. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. Hmm. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. I huh? didn't fly into space, storm on the beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you okay. and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Okay. I'm assuming this gel... Maybe the gel can go in the cube? Let's try it. Okay, whoa! Okay! But now the thing's like super bouncy, I need to catch it. Got it. Let's wash it off. All clean. Man, this gel's getting everywhere. I need to, uh, I need to stop it. Oh boy, I need... Yeah, I need to... I need to send that somewhere. Send it right there. Oh yeah, this thing doesn't get covered again. Okay, I need to get over there. Okay, I can't put a portal there. Maybe I can put a portal, like, right here. Hmm. Maybe this. I don't know. Hup up. And hup up. I made it. Oh, great. Now I need to get this thing all bouncy again. How do I get close enough to do that? Hmm. I don't know how to get close enough to the cube to make it bouncy. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it's on the ceiling. Okay. Perfect. Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not okay. marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fire? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Who was he talking to? Alright, what do we got? Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As thank you. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not okay. going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Got it. Goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Sounds like it. What's the point of this here, if I can't even go out? Where am I going? Hmm. 
Can I fire through that glass? No. That's a problem. I don't know where I'm going. Hmm. That's a problem. Is there something up here? Oh, it's gotta be over there. Only place I can fire a portal. What is this? 71 beta. Wait, 71 pump station beta? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this one's about. This might lead somewhere. I need to... Let's see. Try that. Um, I need to fire a blue portal somewhere else. Yes, I do. Ha! Made it! Okay. There's something in there. Okay, flip both of them. Alright, I don't know what that did, but I think it I think it's gonna be good. What the control room? Hmm. This is interesting. Maybe Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you what? most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing... Black Mesa? Isn't that, isn't that something from Half-Life? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Hmm. Who wants to make sixty dollars cash? That must have been a lot. Feel free to relax for up to twenty minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park bench is most of you were sleeping on when we found you. <laughs> so, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. No, nope. couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't okay. smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related? You have to tell us what is test related. What the? Oh, hmm. that was interesting. Okay, let's fall and see where this takes us. Nowhere important. That did nothing. Great. Try it again. Careful. Okay, I guess I need to fire onto that one. Cause that probably takes me somewhere. Yep. Control room. Oh, hi. GLaDOS! Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Bird? Prometheus was punished by the gods for giving the gift of knowledge to man. He was cast into the bowels of the earth and picked by birds. <gasps> the oracle turret says something about that. Oh boy. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So okay. What do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. I have no choice. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Okay. Wow, you stabbed me. What is wrong with you? Hold on. Hmm. Do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Hmm. Keep an eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. And scheming seems to Where take up... Couple seconds. That extra half volt helps, but it isn't going to power miracles. If I think too hard, I'm going to fry this potato before we get a chance to burn up in the atomic fireball. That little idiot is going. And she's out again. 
Oh good, she doesn't get emancipated. That is really good. Alright guys, that'll do it for this episode of Portal 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was a little long, but um, I mean, I always get lost down there. So guys, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Later!